So I've been using art since like the longest to express myself, visual art mainly. I had no particular style growing up. I would just create just as a way to calm myself or like keep the peace inside of me. Like I definitely took inspiration from this facade. I just love how rustic it is. And even if you're not looking at the art, you're looking at the structure itself. It's wonderful, it just keeps your eye moving, literally. There's so much to see. Just the line work is, it's literally life to me. When I need to paint, when I need to do anything, I start off with those lines and it kind of guides me through this challenge. It's kind of like my, my battle weapon. As a younger artist, I used to be afraid of taking that step and as I see it now, it's like my best friend. It helps me conquer all these challenges. You know, one comes after the other, just like in life. Like I've always been colorful, like in, in the way I dress and express myself. But when it came to expressing it in my art with this line work when I started it, it was difficult for me. Over time, I started incorporating a little bit and it's the, you know, color is life. Color brings joy and happiness to people. And I see that within myself too, as I'm using more colors. So this is Nino Simone, the one and only. I knew I wanted to use a lot of color because I've been experimenting with it, but in the past few months, I thought it was more important to shine light on someone who's been fighting for what we're trying to fight for now. You know, she kind of dedicated her career to the civil rights movement. As we all know, that took a big toll on her career, but you know, when you're fighting for something that's important to you, I think that's all that mattered to her. That's basically what she dedicated her end of her career towards, you know, making music for us, for all younger artists, black, young black artists, you know, opening our eyes. And I wanted to bring that to light. I wanted to honor her. You know, I hope that when people come and see this mural and they don't know who she is, that they, you know, go home and look her up and listen to her music, see what she was about. I'm gonna say Providence has always been a little artsy city. I know they call it the creative capital now. I'm just so happy to be finally a part of it now. Like this is my first piece in Providence, being a RI native and like finally just moved back. Like it, this whole experience kind of feels very special. It's not for me, it's, it's for the community. Like I can't tell you how many times people have come up while I was painting and they just would say thank you. So it's another form of showing love to people.